small, but terrible. This is how we could accurately describe the Ta'al volcano in the Philippines. It's one of the smallest and yet one of the most dangerous in the world. When it erupted with such massive force in 1911, it claimed more than 1,300 Filipinos. It hasn't had a major eruption since 1977. But, since 2019, the volcano has shown signs of renewed unrest. More than 24 million people live within 100 kilometers of the volcano. This means that if it erupts again with such a massive force, its impact would be more catastrophic than it had previously. It could go down in the record books as one of the most devastating disasters the archipelagic nation has ever faced. The question now is, could Tal Volcano be building up to another catastrophic eruption? One powerful enough to devastate not only this island nation, but the world in general? Before we look closer at this ominous possibility, let's rewind the clock to the formation of this formidable force of nature. Tal Volcano is located on Luzon Island, just 50 kilometers south from the nation's capital, Metro Manila. Some say that this is a complex geological wonder of nature, and rightfully so. A volcano in a lake in a volcano. Now before you'll be confused, let me clarify it for you. It's a volcano sitting inside a lake, which itself lies within a much larger volcanic crater. Before this unique landscape took shape, it went through a long and complex process that unfolded over hundreds of thousands of years. The current Tal Caldera, the large depression that now holds Tal Lake, was formed by a massive eruption that occurred between 500,000 and 100,000 years ago. In the middle of the lake sits Volcano Island, which spans about 24 square kilometers. And within that island is another smaller body of water called Crater Lake, about 1.2 square kilometers in size. At its center is Vulcan Point. This rocky formation makes this one of the rarest and most beautiful places on Earth. Due to its unnatural beauty, it's quite understandable that it became a subject of urban legend among locals. Among these dominant beliefs is that a Diwata, or nature spirit, lives within the volcano which serves as its guardian. That's why locals show deep respect for the area. They believe that any act of disrespect could stir the anger of its guardian. But, beyond this belief of a supernatural being, the true importance of the volcano couldn't be understated. It's the only place on Earth where the freshwater sardine called Tawilis is found. This species evolved over thousands of years, after the caldera cut off a section of the sea and slowly turned it into a freshwater environment. But it's not just the Tawilis that makes this area special. Its lakes are home to several other rare and native species, including the Tal Lake Sea Snake, various freshwater creatures found nowhere else, and birds like the Luzon Bleeding Heart Pigeon. All of these are part of the Tal Volcano Protected Landscape. Despite its natural beauty and ecological importance, Taal Volcano is also a serious hazard. As an active volcano, it poses ongoing risks to nearby communities. Now let's go back to the destructive history of this force of nature. Since the 1500s, Tal has erupted more than 39 times. One of the most notable eruptions happened in 1754. It was called the Great 200-Day Eruption. It lasted from May 15th to December 12th. As the eruption continued for months, entire communities were buried in ash and debris. The towns near the volcano had no choice but to relocate. Volcanic material blocked the Pansipit River, trapping water inside the caldera and causing Tal Lake to rise, flooding nearby areas. Survivors described a grim scenario. Nothing was left but the walls of the church and convent. Everything else was buried under thick layers of stone, mud, and ash. When it comes to its most deadly eruption, it happened in 1911. Official records reported more than 1,300 lives lost, though many believe the actual number was higher. It was categorized as Volcanic Explosivity Index Level 4. The explosion was so powerful that it was reportedly heard more than 1,000 kilometers away. An estimated 70 to 80 million cubic meters of solid material was ejected. Ash blanketed a 2,000 square kilometer area though the zone of actual destruction was around 230 square kilometers. 
In modern times this volcano has shown signs of unrest since 1991. In January 2020, ashfall reached as far as Metro Manila. Flights were cancelled, the sky turned grey, and stores ran out of masks. This powerful eruption became electrically charged. The ash plume generated thousands of lightning strikes that flashed between the clouds and the ground for hours on end. Some saw it as a breathtaking yet powerful display of nature's raw force. This month alone, the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology issued a warning about increased activity at Tal Volcano. They reported a spike in ground vibrations and noted that gas emissions from the crater had suddenly stopped. This could mean that gas is getting trapped inside the volcano, which may cause pressure to build up. If that pressure is released, it could lead to a phreatic eruption. This might not be a destructive eruption. But, this serves as a strong reminder that this seemingly small volcano is still very active. Globally, scientists estimate there's a 20 to 25 percent chance that an eruption as massive as volcanic explosivity index level 6 could happen somewhere on Earth in any given decade. What if it will be the tall volcano? How catastrophic could it be? For most, it would release thick ash clouds that can spread over large areas. For the locals, this would be a health hazard. The volcanic ash contains tiny glass-like particles that can cause serious breathing problems, particularly for children, the elderly, and those with respiratory illnesses. Today, with millions living within a 100-kilometer radius, the stakes are higher than ever. In its past eruptions, this volcano has produced pyroclastic flows. These fast-moving, extremely hot clouds of ash, gas, and debris can destroy everything in their path within seconds. A base surge is highly probable. These low, fast-moving clouds of hot gas and ash can travel across the lake surface and strike surrounding areas. These surges are capable of stripping buildings and vegetation. We can also strike the possibility of a tsunami. If a part of Volcano Island collapses into the lake during a major eruption, it could generate large waves that flood the surrounding lakeshore communities. History has already shown us that this is possible. In 2018, a similar event at Indonesia's Anak Krakatau volcano caused a deadly tsunami. While tsunamis are most often caused by powerful earthquakes, this one was triggered by something else. A large portion of the volcano's southwest slope gave way and fell into the sea. The force of the landslide pushed huge amounts of rock and debris into the water, setting off the waves that followed. However, even without a full collapse, Falling debris and earthquakes caused by the eruption could trigger waves known as sieges. These sudden, unpredictable lake waves can damage shorelines and structures. In some cases, debris could even be ejected far enough to land directly on communities around the lake. Now you're able to imagine just how devastating it would be for the Philippines if the tall volcano erupts again with such massive force. Unfortunately, we still don't have the technology to accurately predict when this will happen. At most, what we can do is to continuously prepare for the worst. So, if and when it does happen, we're not caught completely off guard. But, what are your thoughts about Tal Volcano? If you love our work, consider being a member of our channel to enjoy some amazing perks. For example, your name will be featured on our next video. Please consider subscribing as well to be part of our community. As always, until the next one.